at least 18 civilians were killed and 36 more were missing as a result of the Russian missile attack on a Kremenchuk shopping mall. The exact number is still difficult to determine because the mall burned to the ground, police reported. Most of the bodies have not yet been identified because they are very much burned. Analysts of the state security service have already established which aviation regiment of the Russian Federation committed the crime and there are the first names of the pilots who made the fatal launches. There is one wounded child in this strategy. He is alive. At the same time, we have many body fragments. A 6-ton HA-22 cruise missile hit a shopping mall Monday night. The shockwave destroyed most of the premises. A massive fire broke out. Rescuers put out the fire for several hours. In this mall there was the usual chain store in Ukraine, grocery, clothing, home appliances and electronic stores. A few nightstands, chairs and two shopping carts are all that are left. According to the general staff, the missile was fired by a 222 aircraft from the territory of Kursk region. Prosecutor General of Ukraine Irina Venediktova stated that fragments of the Russian missile which were found among the wreckage of the building will become material evidence of the terrorist attack by Russia. Prosecutors, investigators, international experts of the advisory group and military experts are also working at the site of the tragedy. Additionally, the prosecutor's office will check the actions of the management of the shopping mall, which did not ensure evacuation during the missile attack. Perhaps this case will be considered in The Hague. No one knows yet what the strategy of the investigation will be. Therefore, we have to gather evidence immediately in such a way that it can be considered in any court. And there are exactly two aspects to this. So that Russian criminals are brought to justice, the second aspect will concern those people who committed some negligence, official negligence. 25 people who were wounded as a result of the missile attack are in the city hospital. Most are in a stable condition, doctors say. Four of them are in a stable, serious condition. One person died of his wounds the day before in the hospital. All patients had mind blast injuries, one patient with a right hand amputation and a young woman with a partial amputation of the right hip. Almost all of them are young. The youngest patient was born in 2002 and the oldest in 1956. Psychologists work with those who managed to evacuate from their burning shopping center and relatives of the killed and missing. We met Lyudmila at the hospital. The woman was looking for her 22-year-old daughter who worked at the mall. The young lady was reported missing. She said she had already taken a DNA test for the expertise. <laughs> My name is Ludmila. My daughter Tanya is 22 years old. I can't find her after the missile hit the shopping mall. My daughter can't even be found. Russia is a country of murderers and terrorists. Katerina and Denise work at the local college near the shopping mall. At the moment of the missile attack, the young lady was only a few meters from the entrance. It saved her. I was on my way home from work at the moment when the air raid siren started. I went up the hill and there was an explosion. It was so strong that it blew out the windows and everything went flying. I managed to bounce back and fell down under a tree. Twenty seconds passed and the next explosion came. People were frightened. They ran wherever they saw. There is no military facility here. I used to work here and many of my friends worked here. Katerina's husband says that during the air raid siren, he tried to get his students as far away from the building as possible. At the time of the attack, they were in the park, not far from the shopping mall. During the air raid siren, I took the children out of the workshop as we had no shelter. I took the children away from the school because there was information in the Russian media three weeks ago that military equipment was allegedly based at our school. Of course, this is a lie. We have an ordinary educational institution. We went to the park. The children continued to ride. And the explosion sounded. We were already lying on the ground. Explosions were without the sound of arrival. The force of the explosion I don't know what to compare with. It's not thunder. I do not even know what to say. Psychos. They are some kind of psychos. Two more people were wounded after the second missile fell near the Kradmash plant. The wounded were employees of the plant. In Russia, the effect of the missile strikes was confirmed 
They claim that there was an ammunition depot at this plant. The search continues at the site of the burnt shopping mall. Half a thousand rescuers are removing the rubble and looking for those who may have been in the premises at the time of the missile attack. Each area must be examined in detail. We need to completely clear the site. About 65 to 70 percent have already been cleared. A three-day mourning period has been declared in Kremenchuk. Local residents bring flowers and children's toys to the square in front of the shopping mall. Rescuers do not exclude that the number of victims could increase. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Yulia Bezborodko, UATV News.